Welcome back! I might think I was a bit cruel for killing Guza, but, uh, well, you can't save him anyway. If you don't shoot him, Clovis and Sadiq will. And sometimes, depending on how the game is generated, it does make a difference in what ending you get. Which is why I did this. I definitely want to know more about what uh, Clovis was talking about, whether or not we really are a replicant, or anything. For all we know, we could still be lying, but we kind of made our choice now. But first, let's uh, head on home to see if that goon is gone and our dog is back. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steel is looking for you. And Brian. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we? Yeah, I gotta run here because of that cop. I don't know, that's kind of weird that sometimes happens. At least he waits for the conversation to finish. You can actually go to the police office to deliver the um, Is that briefcase. everything I need to clear me? But I won't. I've had it with those guys. <laughs> so I say... Well, you should have voted for him, then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipples surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes laws can be changed, and if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! He did warn him. You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you, I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe. Walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. I would prefer him alive if possible. Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. That's a long fall. In the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, 
After the fall? Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Oh, God. No. What the hell? Maggie? She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. Who could have done that? Wait a second. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear, but now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Damn you, Crystal. I get the impression somebody's trying to call us. Being very persistent. Let's go and answer the phone. Her, her favorite fake bone, I think. She will never chew it again. Pick up. I see you survived. No thanks to you. Don't you think you'd already be dead if that's what I so desired? Talking like a god, Clovis. Isn't that a little over the top, even for you? Prometheus was chained to a rock and vultures pecked at his liver. I haven't quite had to suffer such ordeal, literally speaking, of course. Well, there's still time. <laughs> I'm calling to apologize, brother. I should have never recruited Guza against you. I just had to make sure that you weren't going to betray us. Guza probably thought that he recruited you. To be honest, we had a sort of a business relationship where our different interests converged, but he was never to be trusted. Not like you. I appreciate that. Is something the matter, brother? My dog's been murdered. And does that not whet your thirst for vengeance? Come back home to us. We'll demand justice and receive it. How do I know who I really am? Guza must have programmed you as an experiment to see if you could really act as one of them. He wiped out all your memories of our time together. As soldiers during the Phobos Wars, the Battle of the Gemini, firefights on the top of Olympus Mons. I don't remember. But if you dig real deep and feel, you'll know it's real. It's a passage to freedom, McCoy. To your destiny. An underground railroad to carry you from bondage. We'll be waiting. Well, that's not who I was expecting to call, to be honest. I was kind of expecting Dectora to call, because I left her alive. I don't know if I can get the endings with Dectora then, but we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um... For now, it seems we have only one course of action left, and that is to go meet Clovis at the Moon Bus. Is there any news about the Senator? Or the governor? A Blade Runner foiled a rogue replicant's escape attempt today, retiring it in the fourth sector before it could hurt anyone. Our man on the scene got this exclusive reaction from Lieutenant Edison Guza, supervisor of the LPD Rep DTEC unit. The detective on the case handled it by the book. He investigated a lead at Taffy's, tested the alleged replicate, and retired exactly the way he's supposed to. That's talking about Deckard and Zora, I think. Nothing about Guza's death, or any of the other stuff happening at Terrell. I guess he's keeping that uh, silent. Okay, well, let's see if we can find uh, Clovis, and if we meet Crystal along the way, well, let's just say I won't be kind to her after this. Your I don't think I've... Number, please. I don't think I've ever had Clovis call me. Oh, well, just goes to show floor. you never know with this game. I really was thinking that uh, Dactoro would call. And actually, I suppose I can tell you um, that on my first recording, I did actually uh, leave Guza alive. Well, 
He still got killed, but I didn't shoot him. Triggering another ending, which I currently don't want, so... I went back to, uh... Re-record that video, and that's why I shot Guza. <laughs> to make sure that, uh, I didn't get the, uh, another ending that I don't want to show you yet. And fortunately that worked out, Al although I still don't understand why Dektora didn't call, because I know she's called me before, even with, uh, leaving Guza alive and leaving her alive. I thought that was enough. Apparently not. If we want to find uh, Clovis and the Moon Bus, though, they're actually down here, which is kind of cruel, because we've been here before and you could not um, go to any other places from here. And there's no clear indication as to where you're supposed to go. So, other than finding this out by accident, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to uh, do that. And there's a couple of really annoying rats here. We also can't go back now. And now we're out on the outskirts of the city. Near the um, Kippel, I suppose. Which is where the moon bus was supposed to be, according to that photo we found. And it's um, actually right around the corner. But I think we'll um, check it out in the next video.